In this video, we will be synthesizing benzimidazole, an aromatic compound that forms nice crystals from orthophenylenediamine and formic acid in a simple condensation reaction. A quick note on safety, orthophenylenediamine, like many other aromatic amines, is both toxic and carcinogenic, so it is important that you handle it with the utmost of care. What you did not see in the video were the huge evacuator fans running to suck out any fumes and my ABEK rated respirator. Without further ado, let's see the chemistry. In terms of chemicals, you will need 85% formic acid, sodium hydroxide, ophenylenediamine, and activated charcoal. I find that it helps my yield if all your reagents are scuffed like mine are. First, 10 grams of ophenylenediamine was combined with 9.5 milliliters of 85% formic acid. The reaction mixture was refluxed for two hours, during which time the brown color slightly lightened. <music> Meanwhile, a 10% sodium hydroxide solution was prepared. I elected to prepare 100 milliliters of it. I didn't end up using all of it in the workup, which you will see in a minute. After the two-hour reflux was up, the reaction mixture was chilled in an ice bath to slightly below room temperature, then transferred to a larger beaker with the aid of a little water. 10% sodium hydroxide solution prepared previously was then titrated in. A quite stunning precipitative product formed. The product was collected using a gravity filtration and rinsed with a little water to give a brown, slightly pasty solid, which will be purified in the next step. The crude, wet, pasty product was dissolved in boiling water with the aid of a stir bar and a microwave. 0.1 grams of activated charcoal was added to purify the mixture once everything had dissolved. filtration is carried out to remove any impurities as well as activated charcoal. A little boiling water was used to wash the small amount of benzimidazole that crystallized out. And here's the part of the video where I show you my crystal picks. The product crystallized out of the solution as it was chilled to room temperature and then placed in the freezer to chill a little further. The crystals are then gravity filtered off and rinsed with a little water to clean them up. After an overnight air drying, we obtained 7.37 grams, or about a 67.2% yield. When the melting point was tested, it was a perfect 170 to 172 degrees Celsius. The product is nicely crystalline, as expected. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out my social media.